Hello and welcome to another video from the Edge product group of Styles Machinery. Today we will be covering the QA65 application unit featured in all of our straight line edge banding machines from the S240 series and above. My name is Jeff Tolbert and I am the Edge product specialist in the Northeast region. I will once again be joined by Dave Schmidt who is our Edge product specialist in the Southeast and Greg Hodges who is an application engineer in our High Point North Carolina showroom. We will discuss features and benefits of this unit, demonstrate the quick purge function while in the machine, then discuss potential applications where this unit could be a benefit to production. The QA65 application unit in its current form was introduced in 2013 by HOMAG and is the most advanced glue application unit in the edge bander market. Research and development into this technology goes back to 2005. As mentioned, this unit comes standard on all HOMAG edge banders starting with the S240 series machines and offers many distinct advantages that are unique to the HOMAG family of edge banding machines. Features of the QA65 application unit include the ability to process both EVA and PUR hot melts right out of the box, the unit is fully Teflon coated, and has a quick release feature to remove the entire unit as seen in these pictures in less than a minute. A consistent adhesive gap between the roller and the panel is achieved via the guide shoe or tracing pad, as seen here. The shoe provides a constant preset gap and allows consistent thickness of glue applied while eliminating any possible wear on the application roller. Electro-pneumatic clamping of the glue roller and tank. This locks the gluing unit float at the last one inch of the workpiece to allow the trailing edge to pass fully through to eliminate glue contamination on the transverse edge. The adhesive is only applied to the side of the panel that is being banded. The application roller on the QA65 is both heated and coated. This allows for precise temperature control at the point of application. It provides consistent application across the entire height of the roller for variations in panel thickness. These features of the roller also provide a constant adhesive viscosity and less stringing of the glue between the roller and the panel as seen in the pictures here. The application roller has the ability to be run in both the synchronous and reverse directions. Synchronous direction for edge materials less than 3 millimeters and the reverse direction for edge materials greater than 3 millimeters. Also, energy savings is achieved via automatic temperature reduction if production is stopped for 15 minutes or more. Last but certainly not least, the QA65 unit has the ability to purge adhesive from the unit without removing it from the machine. This is what we will demonstrate in our video today. Now let's send it over to Dave and Greg in the High Point showroom to go over the quick purge feature of the QA65 application unit. Hello everybody, I'm Dave Schmidt, the product specialist for the Edge product here in the Southeast region in our showroom in High Point, North Carolina. Greg Hodges is behind the camera. He's our application engineer for our showroom demonstrations. So he's going to help me today, and we're going to demonstrate purging the, the QA65 looses. So today we've actually got PUR in it, so we're going to purge the, uh, the glue unit, and then we're going to follow up with a cleaning agent to clean all the PUR out of it. We have another video that shows that we were just going to store the glue unit um, in a vacuum tank so you can check that video out as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and go to our screen where we can run the program for cleaning. Um, so I come down here um, and then we're going to go to the cleaning unit. But the first thing I got to do is take a few things out of the machine and hook up my tray. So we're going to open the door. And before I go in here work around a hot glue unit or do anything else, I'm going to put on the proper safety equipment. So I've got safety glasses and I've got some gloves here just in case um, there's anything hot that I might come in contact with.
around the table, I've already got laid out our glue tray, scraper, some glue, our cleaning agent, and the other things we're going to use to do this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some glue here, or some, sorry, grease here. And we're going to kind of get some grease on the side of the, the glue unit here, just to make sure that if we get any glue there, it's going to clean up nice and easily. You want to be careful when you're doing this because it is hot. That's why we have gloves. Now we have this little tab on the side. And what that does is that allows us to move that up and put a little side pressure here so that we have a good seal here and we don't get any glue spillage out the side. So now I'm going to come back to the program that I was showing you. And we're going to go here to number four, PUR with emptying. It's going to come up with a status and then we're going to go let go and it'll start working through the steps. Come back over here, you will see the pneumatic glue gates on the QA65 system will automatically adjust and turn and then the roller will turn accordingly to start purging that glue out of the unit. If we go back over here to the screen, you're going to see where we're showing uh, the different statuses as it's running through. Anyone who's installed any software on a computer is familiar with, you know, the percentage that kind of gives you a status of where you're going and so it's very simple and straightforward and allows the operator to tell you exactly what to do as you move through to do this. And then back again and Greg if you could show the glue pot again as we continue to uh, rotate that roller it's going to rotate it'll stop and that allows the glue up in the reservoir to start to move back down and then the roller will turn on again and it goes through that process a few times until we get the vast majority of the glue out of the system. Now one thing I like to do as it's doing this is kind of get in here with my scraper and just pull some of that down into the tray. And the tray I also pre-lined with grease as well. That'll just help for later when we want to pull the glue back out of it. Here's a piece that we've already done this with. You see the glue, it came out all in one piece, very smooth, and the cleaning agent just on top of it. As you can see up here on the screen, we made it to 100%. And now what it's telling the operator to do is to top it up with the cleaning agent. So that's what we're going to do now. What I've done is taken the cleaning agent and I poured it into the same container that I originally had my PUR in. So now I can get in there easily. It allows you to bend it a little bit and then I just fill it up and I'm going to carefully pour this in the top. back and we tell it that it's full and ready to go. It's going to heat that up and then it'll begin the purge cycle again which will now with that cleaning agent will help flush out any remaining PUR in the system. So as we're uh, letting this heat up um, it should begin soon. The whole process takes about 20 minutes from start to finish um, to fully purge it and clean it. Okay, so we're at almost 100%, um, bringing the temperature back up to get all the cleaning uh, granulates melted. And so when we hit 100% here, then we should see the 
the gates open back up and the cleaning agents start to uh, flush it all out. Again, the glue roller will stop at different times to allow the uh, the cleaning agent and the and the rest of the glue to start to move down into the channel here which there's a heating element behind that channel and there's also one down into the roller so that we're keeping an even temperature uh, on that roller at all times As this continues, you can see in the beginning there was, you know, more of the uh, the white glue with a little bit of the red. Now, as it continues, you're going to see more of the red with less of the white until it becomes basically all red. Okay, so the cleaning cycle is completed now. We reached 100 percent, and all of our uh, cleaning agent glue is now purged out. So what I'm going to do then is I will remove the tray, give it a quick wipe down. Just a little bit of the grease that I had put on initially. And then my personal preference is, depending on what glue I'm going to use now, I will put that in and then I'll maybe purge just a small amount of that through just to make sure everything is ready to go and we're back in business. And that's it. Now that we have seen the quick purge function, Let's talk about some ways that this and other features of the QA65 could benefit your shop's production. The first scenario we will discuss is changeovers. This could be between glue types, PUR to EVA or vice versa, or just between different colors of EVA hot melts. Complete changeovers can be completed efficiently by one person as seen in our video demonstration. In changeover situations where more than one glue unit is involved, there is less handling effort required since the adhesive tank and glue application roller are integrated into the application unit. Scenario number two is processing textured or post form panels. The glue roller part of the application unit on the QA65 is ideal for the wide variety of panels that are seen in the edge banding world. This includes textured melamine and post form panels. If you are processing standard panels of various sizes, the glue roller does not need to be adjusted for variations in panel thickness. Scenario number three is dealing with cleaning and maintenance of the glue application unit. This is something that every shop that uses an edge bander has to deal with at some point. Removal of the unit from the machine can be done quickly and allows ease of access to any part of the unit that requires cleaning or maintenance. Our last scenario to discuss is stoppages in production. Again, this is something that every shop deals with on a daily basis. The benefits to production here include energy savings thanks to automatic reduction in glue temperature if work is interrupted, no waste during brief interruptions in production since the gluing roller lifts up from the workpiece if the feed stops. Also, there is a reduction in setup times since changes in workpiece thickness do not require changeover of the glue application roller. These selected applications are only a few of the ways in which the QA65 glue application unit from HOMAG could benefit your shop's production. Please contact your region's product specialist for more information on this unit or any of the other industry-leading edge banding solutions from HOMAG and Styles Machinery. Thanks for watching.